In December of 2017, Congress passed the largest tax law change in 30 years since Reagan was president. These changes really impact how you allocate income between wages and clergy housing allowance. You need to assess those now in order to maximize your refund next April. My name is Brett Willoughby, CPA, and I'm a tax preparer at Tax911.com. We prepare tax returns for over 300 clergy every year. We have done over 10,000 clergy tax returns in the last 25 years. We love working with clergy and we know how the tax law impacts them. One thing we do is review the allocation between wages and clergy housing allowance for a clergy. Because there's certain levels that as your income goes up, your refundable credit goes up. And this is refundable credit that you can use to offset your taxes. For example, earning $32,000 with one child and no clergy housing allowance, your refund would be $6,700. But if your income increases to $38,000 and you have two kids, the refund goes up to $6,900. This is intuitive. You need to actually run the numbers for your specific situation. This is something we do with our clients every year. If you would like us to do this with you, Give our office a call at tax911.com. We prepare tax returns for uh, clergy pastors, and if you tell us that you saw this video, we'll give you a 30% discount for religious workers. Thank you very much.